What's the chow chow chow? Slanter and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Royal Version Wonderlock. In the last episode, we took on the gym right here in Blackwood City and we got our seventh gym badge. But today we're going to go and have a little follow catch up with our uh, auntie uh, Morgana and see what is going on with her and possibly see what else is going on in the world. We may even go and rescue that little kid and see if. Uh, from this house here and see if we can uh, get a um, another temporal one because I think that's what I re if I remember correctly that's what's behind it anyway uh, we do have a new member to the team right behind me this is Kindle Kindle the Domanitan what are you holding you're holding an escape rope okay I'm uh, not sure how uh, not sure what to say about that Kindle but this is Kindle wait now there you go This is Kindle of the Manatan, level 50, uh, level 68, with impish nature, somewhat stubborn. As we can see, it stats there. Sheer force for the ability, belly drum, flare blitz, overheat, and superpower on the move set. It was a, it was quite hard to uh, get it up to level, uh, but but it did nice work. I was basically training up against the uh, evolutions again, which is probably one of the best places to uh, to grind in this game at this moment in time. Uh, I was going against the Leafeon trainer and then following it up by going against the Galaceon trainer. Uh, you get a lot of money from the Leafeon trainer, uh, but you don't get a lot of money from the Galaceon trainer, but you do get the ex you do get more experience, which is really good for that. So, really good to you to try and go against both of them uh, if you're trying to train up a fire type. So, that's what I did and uh, that's how I got Kindle here. Kindle is so happy he can't stand still. Awesome. Anyway, in today's episode, we're going to go back to uh, the forest and find out if we can find our... Uh, find that little kid. That's how we're going to start this. So, let me start the timer. I believe the little kid is down here somewhere. There should be a lake. There's a lake. And if we go to the bottom of the lake and go across this little section here and down here, through here, we should be able to access this area. Help! There's a Sunowuno about. Uh, you're probably not the best guy to handle this. In fact, Pants is probably the best guy. Uh, Pants is probably the best teammate to handle this. Let's do it. Although you probably could have handled it. Should I try and catch this? I mean, it technically is a um, is an encounter. Whoa! Okay, Stone Edge does have the ability to crit me. And can have a preference to critting me, which I'm not okay with. Get back to being full health, please, pants. Hammer arm. Okay, that does nothing. That's fine. Your speed fell. That's fine. Can I Shadow Ball you again, Liv, please? Okay, you lived again. All right, cool. That means we can catch this thing, right? Hopefully. Because this is where we throw the ball. And we can go for it. One, two, three. Beautiful. We got a Suno Wuno. Awesome. Uh, right, one thing I want to mention, and I should mention this right now, and I'm going to mention this again at the end of the episode. We got Sleep Lock tomorrow. Uh, as of recording this, uh, we're going to be doing a Sleep Lock within about 24 hours of this video going live. There will be a Sleep Lock on the channel. It is of Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are doing it for Operation Reindeer. I know I haven't been talking about it a lot on the YouTube, but it's the first link in the description below. And of course, also, I have been talking about it quite a bit on Twitter. Uh, so every year we do this thing called Operation Reindeer. It's a charity. It's a uh, charity. It's a 
group of streamers who do charities, sleep blocks, and other various streams for charity. This year we're helping New Story, which uh, helps homeless people throughout the world. Last year we helped Red Nose Day, and we raised quite a bit of money for us. This year we're helping New Story, so come on out, join us. I am streaming Pokemon Shining Pearl. I'm doing it from 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time tomorrow. So come out, enjoy the uh, stream. And if you don't know what time 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time is on a Thursday, the 16th of December, Google it. Google is your friend and is mine too. So please go and Google it and find out what time the stream is. The stream is in the first link in the description. Come and watch. Follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe. I will be tweeting out throughout the day telling you guys about the stream and stuff like that. So we're hoping that we can get this done. We can raise the £100 that I need to raise for a charity. And also, oh, you know, get pokemon shining pearl done in under eight hours maybe so i can actually get some sleep because i do actually have to work for that afterwards so yeah i don't really want to be there all night but i'd kind of like to get some sleep going into my uh going into the fact that i'm going to be uh, it'll be my last day at work before christmas so this is the christmas of a friday after i work fridays so the friday after that is christmas eve and i'm with my family on christmas you know, from about 23rd to the 27th, I'm with my family in in Wrexham, not here in Chester. So that means I will not be working. That Pokemon wouldn't leave. Thank you for rescuing me. Please take me to my mummy. Thank you so much for bringing me my little girl back. I owe you so much. Please take this. Rare candies. Thank you. Casey said... Uh, she found some sort of shrine in the back of the forest. That's why the Pokemon wouldn't leave. I asked uh, around and no one's ever seen a shrine there. And there's nothing on the internet about it either. Well, that's uh, one mystery we'll never solve. Thank you. Go back there. Go back there immediately after you hear about the shrine. And this is how you get the temple. Uh, this is how you get the temple Romon. It's a shame they warp you back afterward, uh, you know, to go and rescue the kid. So you have to walk all the way back, but it doesn't take that long to get there. So it's not too hard of an issue, but like go back there immediately and go and uh, get this shrine. Yeah, so we're playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. It's going to be amazing. Come on out, uh, help us any way you can. Donate. There will be challenges for people who... You know, if you donate money to me, I will do punishments. I will do things. Last year, I did a shot of hot sauce every time we lost a Pokemon, and a shot of mold wine every time we uh, did a dra uh, uh, we got a gym badge, and it was rather fun. And we were doing some sort of thing like that again this year. Also, if of course, if people donate uh, money to me, they will get nicknames. They will get other benefits too, and they will also. I will do a shot of hot sauce. I might do a shot of hot sauce again or do something really dangerous again because I'm trying to get people to donate because it's not for me. I'm not trying to donate for me. None of the money sees me. The money is all for charity. It's all for it's all for new story. So go and help them. Not help me. Help them. Help, help me help them. Hello, Xerneas. Okay. It's good to see you. Um, I'm a little scared of you. We'll admit, I'm not sure I have the ability to take on a Xerneas by myself. Uh, but I'll give it a try. Uh, let's, let's start with Slowking and see where things go from there. Let's do this. Xerneas, level 65. Go, Slow King. Okay, this is scary. Scold. Whoa, you have Night Slash. 
Why do you have to have the big dangerous move that can kill me? Misty terrain's fine. Uh, I'm gonna stun spore you. I'm gonna stun spore you. No, oh, I can't. I can't stun spore you with the misty terrain up. Can I sludge? Oh, I don't want to sludge. Do I want to sludge bomb you? Would you live it? Oh, you do. Okay. Well, I can't really... I can't do anything else to you right now because... You know, it is what it is. Free? Oh, my God! First ball! <laughs> what is my luck? I just got a Xerneas! Yeah, I want to... I don't want to nickname this thing Wonder Joe. Wonder Joe. Oh, I can't put Wonder Joe awesome. No, Wonder Joe is all I can put. But that's awesome. That is amazing. I wasn't expecting to catch that first ball. I was not expecting to catch that first ball. I was expecting me to have, like, serious problems with that. What can I get here in this slightly browner grass? Oh, there's Yamask here. I'm going to run from that because that thing can kill. That thing can kill Slowking. I know it. So we've got two Wonder Trades to do today. And uh, we're going to go and see what's going on with Morgana. And uh, I've got a sleep block tomorrow, which you should come, which all of you should come out to. Anyone who's doing this video, link in the top of the description below. Come on out, join us, have some fun. Yeah, you know, donate some money to charity. Not to me. It's not none of the chat. None of the money goes to me. It goes all goes to charity. Each and every bit of money that we make goes to the charity and is a uh, helps make people all over the world really really happy so do it you'll feel really happy too i know it's christmas time and a lot of people don't have a lot of money because it is christmas time but this is exactly when you should be giving money to charity because you know you you feel like you're a, you're sort of a um, a, a saint afterwards you feel so good for doing it. I'm going to stop plugging it now because I think people will probably get annoyed at me. So I'm going to stop plugging it now. Lots of Weavile. I don't really have anything that deals with this. This thing can have close combat. This is a Staraptor with Intimidate. Uh, Final Gambit. It killed Rexy! Final Gambit's a fighting move, isn't it? It kills me to kill them. Rexy! Well, I got a sleep block tomorrow and I'm gonna have to spend the I'm gonna have to stay up all night grinding. Thanks! But I'm still planning on making a video for Friday. So, yeah, I'm going to have to now grind for the rest of the day. In order to make sure I've got a vi uh, make sure I've got videos on Friday. Overheat. Come on, do the damage, do the damage, do the damage. Yeah. There we go. Fortress is scary. Because it can go boom. And I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose another one. 
I just lost one mon. I don't want to lose another mon. Oh, my special attack. Oh, do I do it? I think I do it. I'm still faster. I'm always a little bit scared of that move because of what it can do to me, but... I'll take the win. Hyper Potion for the win. I guess we'll battle you. As well. A Swallow. Okay, that is something Husky can take out for himself. So, Husky can do that. Wow. I thought Husky would be able to take that, but... Maybe not so much. I mean, he took the critical hit sludge bomb. And another one kills. Another psychic kills, which is nice. Archaeops. I don't have anything for this. And probably I lost. I probably just lost my best play for this. I got a. I got a pants. Oh, if you, if you do what I think you might do, acrobatics, I'm a little scared of you. Which is why I'm healing. You turn. Yeah, that was a crit. Marowak. I mean, this is a good, I'm still in with the best mon here, but I have to heal because that was a crit. Okay, this is not the turn you killed someone. So, retaliate is not going to do anything to me. Beautiful. Do I go? No. I think we stay in. I think staying in is the best play. Because no one else, everyone else is kind of weak to bug. I mean, I'm kind of weak to bug myself. Uh, but there's really not much else I can do. I flinched. Why did I decide to fight these people? I lost Rexy to this uh, to these people. I could have just left them alone and never never fought them. And everything would have been fine. I wouldn't have lost Rexy today. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, we've made it back to Blackwood City. I'm going to go and heal. Going to go and talk to Magana now. Really annoyed that I lost Rexy. Goodbye, my friend. You've been so good to me. I will miss you, but I will take your soft sand. Right. How do we replace Rexy? Combuskin's not a horror... Uh, com time Temporal Combuskin is not a horrible idea to replace Rexy with. Uh, we could go Mincargo. That's not a horrible idea either. We could go for Gollum. Go Bora. That would be interesting as well. And I kind of want to see how this thing... Uh, uh, what this thing can do for us. I mean, I have a rare candy. I can go and see if you... Uh, what you become as a Combuskin. And then make my decisions properly because I don't know if you learn any rock type moves as combuskin I have a rare can I have some rare candies in my bar I have just gained three rare candies so temporal combuskin 
Temporal Blaziken. Alright, Temporal Blaziken. Let's take a look at this thing now. It's a Temporal Blaziken. Rock and Fighting type, which is really cool. It did say it would become a Rock and Fighting type. Jolly Nature. Uh, there's its stats for you. Its defense is awful, though. Bulk Up, Slash, a Mirror Move, and Uppercut. It, uh, Sky Uppercut. Its defense is absolutely awful. Not a good defender of peace and I could do the whole point of me having something like uh, uh, something like Rexy was to basically have some kind of bulk on the team that was basically my plan to have some kind of bulk on this team and hope for the best you might be a good play then go electro baller and see what happens with that electro baller yeah, we'll go Electro Baller. Uh, and I will grind... How much do you need grinding? You're level 50. That won't take that long. That won't take that long. Electro Baller won't take too long to grind. So I should be okay with Electro Baller. Anyway, let's get on with this. Hey, come here. Uh, you came. Uh, sit down. Right, uh, let's have our catch-up. Sometime later. Well, I enjoyed that, Joanne. But you better get going. Don't want to. Uh, don't want you to be behind your brother and sister because of me. I'm sorry if it, I didn't see you kids often. I was very busy. It was very busy here for me. I promise uh, that when the role contest is over, I'll make more of an effort to see you guys. Besides, I want to rematch with you. Good luck, Joanne. I'm rooting for you. Ah, Joanne. There you are. Hey, Merlin. Long time no see. How are you? How are you? Well, I just asked you that question. Whoa, that's a lot of badges. Well done. Though, I think Victor is ahead of you. So you better get a move on. Well, I can't say... I can't stay in chat. I've got a lot of work to do. I need to get on my way to see uh, to have a chat with my sister. If you have a chance to come see me at my house in Dual City, please come. Uh, you'll be uh, heading there uh, for a gym battle soon anyway, so uh, good luck, Joanne. Goodbye. He's gone. He does a teleporty job and he's never there before. He was never there in the first place. Anyway, a, that is sort of the end of the episode because we've got like 57 seconds left on the timer. So yeah, we're going to go and uh, start the end of episode festivities, which of course means it is time for, for some wonder trades. So let's put Huskus in. Uh, let's put Husky in the PC. And Pants, you can go in the PC too. We can bring it out Wonder Joe v. Uh, Xerneas and Wonder Joe v. The um, Sunabuno and see what happens. Here we go. Wonder Joe Vizernius. We get... Chavaka. And for... That's time. Wonder Joe Visuno Wuno. We get... Close the timer. Jinx. All right, cool. So we have Arvark, poison type, level 65, sassy nature, uh, often scatters things. Uh, there's stats for you guys, intimidate for the ability. 
Belch, Hayes, Coil, and Gunk Shot. And then we have Junk. Uh, then we have Jinx, level 55, Ice and Psychic type from Arthur. Uh, capable of taking hits. Uh, has a Calm Nature. There's its stats for you guys there. Oblivious for the ability, so it can't fall in love. Has Wake Up Slap, Avalanche, Body Slam, and Ring Out. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the... Uh, those were our wonder trades we'll build the team back together ready for the next episode off screen i will grind up electro baller to join the team hopefully electro baller will be a rather interesting uh, replacement for rexy which i'm kind of annoyed about but that's just the way the cookie crumbles and sadly the cookie crumbled for rexy but it's okay we're still in we're still in this series we're still okay we're still doing well we survived that fight so it is what it is you know the series is still here we will continue on in the next episode of our pokemon royal version wonderlock but until next time i am lantern joe you have been watching the Pokemon Royal Wonderlock. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time. And, of course, also join us for the Sleep Lock. Tomorrow we're playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. It's going to be absolutely awesome. The brand new game on the Switch. We're going to be playing it for charity. We are supporting New Story as part of Operation Reindeer. Uh... So it's going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you to, so much to the Operation Reindeer crew, including my good friend Icy Richard, who is the organizer and, of course, is, well, our lead reindeer, Rudolph, in this series. He's, he's probably, you could probably even call him the Santa if you want. Although, really, that's really Jap Scepter guy, is Santa, really, uh, for Operation Reindeer. But uh, thank you so much to Icy for allowing me to uh, take part in this for the second year running. And. Hopefully you guys will come out to the sleep lock. That's 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Supporting New Story. Come on out. Donate some money. And watch us play through Pokemon Shining Pearl. With challenges included. And punishments. And dares. And all that other stuff. That you, well, will hopefully love. Anyway, until next time. I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But until next time. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk but until next time I am Lantern Joe and I will see you next time